Hello, my name is Ian. I'm one of the Safe Stranded Support Team Technicians. Today, I've just created this first of three videos on setting up Power Automator to work with Safe Stranded Cloud Standard Online and Safe Stranded Cloud Professional. So what we'll look at in this video is the prerequisites for starting your Power Automate journey. We're going to look at how you get started. We're going to give you a quick demonstration on how to create the user application needed to start with Power Automate. And then we're going to look at the next steps. So before setting up Power Automate to work with your CH200 software, you'll need to run through a couple of things first. You should firstly have contacted ourselves about registering your existing Office 365 subscription. That subscription then should have been onboarded with ourselves. If you're a CH200 professional customer, you should have installed the native API tunnel like we did in the previous video, and the API should show as enabled in the API tab. You should also be able to return a list of companies, customer information from the web sales order form as shown in one of the previous videos. If this doesn't make any sense, you haven't done this, please go back and have a look at the other videos for further information. The next thing that you will need to check before you get started with Power Automate is you'll need to make sure that you have the correct Power Automate license type. Now, the license type that we support is a Power Automate per user plan. And we do have an article listed below in the video to link you to the pricing plans for Power Automate. Once you have that pricing plan set up, you can then begin to onboard and set up Power Automate. So all we're going to do in this first video is we're just going to create the Azure Active Directory application. This allows the Sage API and the Sage 200 data to communicate with each other and to be used within the Power Automate flows that we're going to be uploading later on. What you'll need to do is you will need to visit the Azure Active Directory portal. So you can go to this web address here. If it asks you to sign in, make sure you sign in with the same email address and password that you used when you set up and onboarded your Office 365 subscription. What we'll then do is we'll go to Azure Active Directory, App Registrations, and then New Registration. So we'll ask you for a name, keep it nice and generic. Let's call it Sage Turned Application. Leave the supported account type to accounts in this organizational directory only. This will give your tenant name and single tenant. The redirect URI is optional. We will need to come back to that at a later date. Leave that blank for now and just click register. Once the application has been registered, we'll need to make note of a couple of bits of information that we'll need for the Power Automate flows later on in the other videos. So what you'll need to do open up notepad or sticky note and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy the client id so i'm just going to pop in here that this is the client id and what we'll do if you hover next to the client id you'll see a copy the clipboard button click on that and just paste that in your notepad what you'll also need to do is you'll need to generate a secret key for this application so you'll click on certificates and secrets client secret and then click on new client secret Create a description, I'm just going to call it secret key, and we'll set the expires to never. It means your application will always continue to work. The seek ever does expire in one or two years, the application will stop working. Click on add, and then you see a secret key has been generated for you. Again, in the value column, what we'll do is we'll hover over the value, click on copy to clipboard, and then just type in secret, and we'll just paste that in there. The last thing we'll need to do is we'll need to give permissions to the Sage Student API to work with this application. Click on API permissions, add a permission, APIs my organization uses, and just start typing in Sage 200. What you'll see when you click on Sage 200 is you'll see the Sage 200 C API. If you don't see any Sage 200 C products in this list like I do here, it means you haven't onboarded your Office 365 tenant with ourselves. I'd advise you go back and watch another video on onboarding your Office 365 subscription. Click on the 200C API, tick on the box for user impersonation, and click on add permissions. And that's all we'll need to do for now. You can leave the screen open. We will need to come back to it at a later date to add that redirect URI in. The next step in the journey is going to be creating the custom connector for Power Automate. We're then going to go through setting up one of the demonstration Power Automate flows. And finally, we'll get you started on amending your Power Automate flow so you can make your own routines and help automate your business. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.